Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here, and I just got back recently from a trip to New York City, and today's video I'm going to show you all the LEGO creations I saw while I was there. I went to two toy stores, the Toys R Us in Times Square, as well as the FAO Schwartz next to the iconic Apple building. Let's start with FAO Schwartz. This is the first mock that I saw. This was a LEGO mosaic, and as you can see it was all LEGO and it was really cool. You can sort of see the studs on each picture like it was all plates and bricks and stuff it wasn't flat it was bumpy and you could actually touch it so that was really cool and this was on the end of one of the display cases so as you can see they had some friend stuff on display there and it was just really cool it was a uh, the next creation I saw were Emmett and Wild Style so these Emmett and Wild Styles were actually quite tall um, I know people that they were just a little shorter than the, some people I know that got a picture with them and they were really cool and they each were on a base plate and they are like as far as I know were 100% Lego and again they were pretty bumpy so you, and you could touch them so that was really cool. Here in the back you can also tell this Batman who was standing up and he was tall, I, he was a lot taller than some people. I unfortunately didn't get any better pictures of these mocks. As well as there was a toy soldier because at FAO Schwartz the toy soldiers are kind of iconic there like everybody there's toy soldiers at the door so that was really cool and this photo actually kind of illustrates the Lego display there because they had this big Lego logo everywhere and it was like a Lego factory and these the lights changed colors and there was hundreds of sets it was crazy it was such a good set selection there one of the best I've ever seen at FAO Schwartz there were lots of other Lego mocks that I saw such as the Statue of Liberty uh, Stormtrooper and more but unfortunately these are the only ones that I got pictures of I did, however, get better luck getting the LEGO creations at Toys R Us in Times Square. The first mock is this building. I don't know what building it is. It is a New York City building, but it is really, really cool. Starting with the base here, it just goes up and it's like a big skyscraper building. And it's just really, really neat. As I mentioned, I don't know what building it is. I, It was very late at night. Toys R Us in Times Square actually closes at 10 p.m. Eastern at night. I was there taking these pictures at 9.52, 9.53 and they were actually kicking us out as I was trying to get these pictures. I'm like, hey, I really wanted to spend some time in here. So I got eight minutes, but that was still good. They had this Statue of Liberty mock and it was really cool. It was on top of a display and it was huge. Like the cost it would have made to build this sculpture, like they're all expensive, but this one, it's sand green. Do you know how much sand green bricks retail for? So this sculpture would have been absolutely crazy because as I mentioned, it is super tall. It was on top of a display and here's the ceiling. It just goes way, way up and above. Here's another building. I'm not really sure what the name of, but it was really cool. All these creations are pretty much on top of display cabinets. And this had, I liked it because it had tons of windows. It's a big, big building. But I also saw this building, it was really cool just because the whole thing is circular which is pretty amazing because you know, if you are an avid Lego builder you know that circles are so hard to build. So this was cool. I like the front how it looks like a different building but then it goes up into the circle building and I just think that is really really cool. I also saw the giant Hulk. This mock is absolutely giant. Two people can fit between his arms to get a picture and it's just crazy but this is a pretty big mock and a lot of people were trying to get pictures of it so I was really lucky just to be able to get a picture of it without anybody in it because there are so many people there to get pictures with it. And finally the last mock that I saw while I was there was this huge Empire State Building. So this is crazy big but not as big as Kevin F's Empire State Building because this, this was not minifigure scale but it was just really neat to be able to see how tall this building really was and a neat thing about it they actually have the gorilla climbing the Empire State Building. And honestly, you can't really tell from this picture, and I don't remember from when I was there if this was Lego or if this was like a stuffed animal gorilla. So I'm sorry about that. If somebody knows, you feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Is the gorilla Lego or is it something else? But it's just a really cool Empire State Building. And this was actually one that was not on top of a Lego display. It's on top of a board here, but there were sets right there. So you could, I think you could touch it, but I wasn't touching any of them. I didn't want to break them. You might ask, did you get to the Lego store Rockefeller in the Rockefeller Center? Sort of. I saw it. I walked by it. I walked by it twice, actually. I saw it. I saw the big Lego mosaic in the window. I could see the pick-a-brick wall. I could see the sea creature, but that's as far as I got. Like, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go in it. This was a school trip, and we were only at the Rockefeller Center to actually see top of the rock. 
so I could see it from going in there and we actually drove by it a couple times so that was really cool if I ever go back to New York City I definitely 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 hope to go to that like that Rockefeller Center the Lego store because the pick a brick wall is crazy you could see it from outside swirling around the room and it was just amazing someday I hope to go back thanks for watching this video showing what mocks that I saw when I was in New York City so I thought a little crazy how much Lego there are in this town and I bet there's even more toy stores that are full of huge creation just because it's such a popular tourist destination I think they really went all out making these Lego creations huge for landmarks and stuff like that because they don't go all out in Lego stores but because this is a tourist town I think they did thanks everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed let me know if you enjoyed in the comments below if you like this Lego related video Check out my YouTube channel where it is all Lego all the time. It is BrickLover18 at BrickLover18.com. You can click on the subscribe annotation on the screen now for all Lego all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lego related video. Stay tuned for more Lego related videos here on BrickLover18. Have a great day.